Hi and welcome everyone. As you know, we are covering series of lectures on all legacy operating systems starting from Windows 2.1 all the way to Windows 7. And today the operating system that we are going to install is Windows 8.1. Now Windows 8.1 is one of those unsuccessful operating systems which were released by Microsoft just like Microsoft Vista. Windows 8 was initially released on 26th of October 2012 and just after one year they released Windows 8.1 on 17th of October 2013. Now there were lots of reasons why they did that because that was the first time they introduced a, an operating system for the handheld devices like tablets etc as well as for the uh, operating systems on the machines and there were lots of issues on it. So. Uh, they went for the improvement of the operating system and uh, still uh, people were not very happy about the overall operating system. So we'll try to install it on our machine and we'll try to check the overall performance of it and the features which were available in uh, Windows 8.1. So as you know, um, uh, like the other operating systems, we'll be giving roundabout uh, uh, 8 GB of RAM to our this operating system. We'll press next and then uh, nothing here, uh, no changes here. Uh, dynamically allocated and we are giving it around about 30 GB of storage on our hard drive. Press next and uh, then go to the settings. Uh, we'll go to system, processor, add two processors over here. Then we'll go to display, enable 3D and give it 164 MB of space. And now we'll add the ISO file. As you can see, we have selected the ISO file. Press OK and start your virtual machine. Okay guys, so that's our freshly installed Windows 8.1 at the basic level. If you can see the desktop is almost similar to Windows 7 or, or the previous versions of the operating system. Uh, we have the same notification area over here, network connections, desktop icon is still appearing over here. So if you'll bring your mouse at a corner and if you'll wait for a minute or a few, few seconds, You'll find some options over here, for example, settings, devices, and start menu, etc. Now that's what people hated at that time a lot because there was no start menu in this Windows. Uh, people were used to it and they found some problems in accessing and going back to the desktop settings, etc. Uh, the same as it was there in Windows 7, File Explorer is added over here where you can browse the contents on your computer. Further, a new thing in this one was they have added this Windows Store, uh, which was later continued in Windows 10 and onwards, uh, with the help of which you can see the applications or you can download the applications from Microsoft Store. So if we we'll click on the start menu, you can see there is nothing like cross or in order to close the screen, there is nothing appearing. You'll have to go on the corners in order to find the previous screen, etc. And people really hated it at that time. Uh, and still they do. I have not seen anyone using Windows 8.1 because of these problems because uh, this operating system was meant for handheld devices or for the touch surfaces where uh, it would be used for the uh, desktop computers as well as for the touch screens etc. But the people who were using it on the computer they were really confused about it. So as you can see they have lots of um, features added over here. Um, the applications which are installed by Microsoft Store uh, you can find it over here and if you want to uninstall it simply right click on it and click install. It's exactly the same as it is still there in Windows 10 or 11. 
So, and if you wanted to see more applications which are there on the computer, you'll have to press on this arrow icon to see all the other applications which are available on this computer. If you wanted to go back to the desktop, you'll go to the left corner of the screen and then you'll click on it to go back to the desktop. So it was kind of a weird setup for this operating system. Though there were some tools available in the market through which we could uh, change the start menu to the old style of Windows like Windows XP onwards. But still, initially, uh, this thing was uh, really, really painful for the guys. Now, if you click on the test user, you had the option for the, or the user account, you had an option to log the account or sign out. Further, you can search for the items anywhere on the computer files or any applications, etc. So let's try to see what's there in this version of Internet Explorer and see, strange enough, it's looking bad. The Internet Explorer is also opening in a full screen and then you have this uh, strange kind of uh, menu bar appearing at the footer of the page and really not like a desktop kind of a uh, interface that you would expect from a Windows operating system. So let's see the other programs which are there in this version of Windows and uh, let's go down and see the other application. They have added the alarms over here, then we have the calculator and that's so bad that even the calculator is opening on a full screen. And uh, uh, it's really bad and you can see the way we are moving in between the applications that we are using alt tab uh, we'll close it then we'll have to click start and we'll go to uh, the other applications and then we'll go through and uh, not a very very friendly kind of an operating system uh, documents food and drinks maybe that's an application they added the support for x uh, box here as well then the mail application maps were added to this one then again some applications one drive was added on this one as the cloud storage drive and then your pc settings etc were there i'm sure that the control panel um, which is uh, in a very refined form in windows 10. so if you want to make any changes to the computer in the apps etc or change the desktop wallpapers you can do it from here um, even enable or disable the camera uh, the display settings for your display, the devices that are connected to the computer at the moment, uh, your mouse and touchpad, even the typing or the languages, etc. Then application switching, how you want to do uh, power or sleep, and then the autoplay like the default uh, applications which were there. Further, it would show you the overall disk space of the computer. And if you want to know the computer settings, etc., you can. Uh, go here and you can check it now strange enough this version of windows has been activated on our kms server in the organization seems like uh, they are still providing support for that now if we will go to the control panel and uh, we'll see the icons over here uh, they are almost the same as they were there in windows 7 uh, but add features to Windows 8.1 is quite strange kind of the you can't add this feature to this edition of Windows quite strange though this is the ultimate version of or the professional version of Windows interesting then we have the administrative tools and in the administrative tools we have components and disk cleanup and uh, security policies etc performance monitors quite an advanced uh, uh, features which we saw in the earlier version of Windows 7 uh, they are added and I can see a couple of more items over here even the PowerShell has been added in this one now if you move you'll see bit uh, locker drive encrypt um, drive encryption as well credential management as it was there in Windows 7 uh, date and time device management rest of the things are almost the same except this file history uh, which we didn't have in Windows 7 and if you want to check the history of the files or any specific folders you can check it from here family safety it is for the family accounts if you have some young kids using it you can enable it then folder options indexing services quite normal everything is almost the same 
uh, power and uh, programs and features it's exactly the same as windows 7 and then the recovery i'm sure it's the windows restore uh, regional settings and taskbar and navigation etc and then they have windows updates now if you click on it we can change these icons as per our um, own requirements and uh, uh, change them as per the uh, device that you are using now they still added windows defender over here and you can see it's a very early phase of the antivirus which was released as windows defender uh, by microsoft in windows 10 and windows firewall is here like the previous version of windows 7 and so that's about the control panel of this operating system if we'll close it and we'll try to uh, go back to uh, the other options Other applications were like it came in pre-installed with Skype and then uh, we had store available. Um, we had a player for the uh, videos etc. Uh, calculator is there, math input as it was there in Windows 7. And then character map, MS Paint is there. Let's check it out. Uh, it's almost the same as it was there in Windows 7. Then uh, we have remote desktop and snipping tools is there. Then sound, the steps recorder is there in case if you are recording a tutorial with uh, all these steps to show to the students, etc. It was really helpful. Uh, then we have the Windows Media Player and XPS Viewer was there as well. That's quite new in this version of Windows. On screen keyboard and rest of the uh, features are almost the same as they were in uh, Windows 7. So I'm not really impressed still after using it after a lot of time. Uh, I would still say that uh, people were right when they didn't like the operating system. So that's about the Windows 8.1. We'll be covering Windows 10 soon in our next tutorial. So that's it for today. Thank you very much.